Alright, so we're back with Moth Clan. The final pre-recorded episode that I recorded on Sunday. So this is the last episode having been recorded on Sunday. And then the next episode you see will have been recorded either today or tomorrow. Probably today if I can manage it. So let's take a look. It's now green leaf, so I can skip two events. Let's check in with the clan. Jump is talking with Featherstar here. Mm. Ant Call is out and about, and so is Spark. Violet Mask is in the Elder's Den hanging out. Let's take a look. Now, last time we got a prophecy from Lightning Whisker and an omen from Sparrow Throat. So let's check in with them first. Lightning Whisker is watching over Lily Heart. And Sparrow Throat is missing a loved one. Maybe Feather Star? Oh, wait. Uh, Sun, Sun Talon, your Ant Clan girlfriend. That's right. And your many, many, many children. I guess the one benefit of you being dead is you can't sire any more illegitimate children. You had so many kids, dude. Ivy Talon hoping to meet with a medicine cat. Honey Star thinking about their life. Ragged Talon wants to send a message to Ant Call of all cats. Frecklestone thinking of giving advice to a healer. Silver Sight missing a loved one. Small Cloud is hoping they'll be remembered. Honestly, I can't comfort you here because sometimes I forget you exist, although you were a healer and the sibling of Green Fur and Doe Poppy, who is worried about the cats in the Dark Forest. Spark Swipe, not actually dead. Ice, hoping to give a life to a new leader. Ha, good luck with that one, Ice. One Hay, sharing is grooming with Doe Poppy. Nagi Paw feeling lazy. And for the living cats. Feather Star looking forward to today. Rush Claw interpreting an omen. I guess Honey Ear shared the omen with Rush Claw, although I still don't know what it is. Weed Dawn feeling down. Bounce Wing wishes that Freckle Stone were still alive. Me too, buddy. Me too. Honey Ear organizing the herbs. Violet Masks fighting with Bounce Wing. Hmm. Green Furs looking around camp, Crow Eyes feeling content, Ant Call relaxing, Weasel Beam thinking about how too many cats die young. I bet they're worried about their kids here. Ember Heart relaxing, Stork Storm feeling sassy, Spark having a hard day, Lily Heart complaining about their aching joints, Jump relaxing in camp. Okay, Jump something. So one last chance. Let's try you and Green Fur. Is, can this ship set sail? Someone's probably either told me that it's a great idea or a horrible idea in the comments yet, and I just don't know yet. <laughs> I'm gonna skip that. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. No, thank you. No, thank you. Uh, Ember Heart out with your your brother Stork Storm, and for the heck of it, we'll send out Jump because Jump really needs to get her experience up. They don't find anything useful, but they still learn a little something. Lily Heart tried to convince Weaselbeam to run away together. One of you is a prisoner, and the other is not. So, maybe Lily Heart was trying to convince Weasel Beam to break them out? To sneak them out of camp? That's what I would say. Jump is over here talking to Weed Dawn, who is amazingly still alive. Uh, Violet Mask is in the medicine den. And Spark is being given free reign 
So is Ant Call. Both of them are just kind of wandering around. No one's watching Ant Call. Someone probably should be watching that old bastard. Someone probably should be watching that old bastard. Featherstar talking to themselves. Rushclaw regrets not eating the bird. Who Who's eating the bird? We Dawn is grateful that they've lived so long. I mean, yeah, 100, almost 160 moons. That's... I mean, they're 13 years old, which is very old for a clan cat and moderately old for a real-life cat. That's, you know, that's, that's nothing to sneeze at. Bounce wing, spending time grooming, honey ear, chased kits out of their den. Who? I, I think you're hallucinating, honey ear, because there are no kits in this clan, unless you mean, like, I don't know, baby ravens or something who are trained to steal your shiny trinkets in there or something. Violet Mask is feeling happy. Green Fur is reinforcing the camp. Crow Eyes is fighting with Spark. Ant Call is hoping to lead the next patrol. Good luck with that. Weasel Beam also has found a, found a trinket that used to belong to Sparrow Throat. I wonder... I wonder if their omen is more literal. Gotta think about that. Ember Heart is watching over the kits. Again, no kits. I think they're hallucinating. Stork Storm having a good day. Spark is gossiping. And Lily Heart is snoring in their sleep. And Jump is assigning cats to a border patrol. Okay. Well, then let's send them out on patrol. Uh, who are you sending out on patrol together, Jump? I think you should go... I think you're going to sign yourself out with... Uh, maybe Crow Eyes and... Stork Storm? They find a kitty pet. And they convince them to join. Hey! That is good news. Uh, can I pick them out from the crowd? Oh my god, they what, are they wearing a little collar? <laughs> Loud paw! First of all, that's a really rude name. Second of all, they're wearing a little collar! Oh, that's so cute! I really, I cannot, I cannot even. Crow Eyes is the mentor. I'm not even going to challenge that. Crow Eyes, you take good care of Loud Paw. You are a righteous... Little dude. Oh, I want to give the guys loud paws my new favorite thing. I want I want them to talk with a surfer accent because they're a kitty pet and I can say whatever the f I want about them. A and they're just a righteous little dude, man. Oh, that that's the best. That is the absolute best that I their collar has like waves on it. My god, this is the best thing. I, I am so happy, Loudpaw. Loudpaw, you are the best. I, I, I... I'm gonna draw art of you. I said that about Ragatel and I never did, but... Loudpaw, you are so cool. You're just so cool, my little dude. Uh, we'll check in with everybody else. I'm just so happy about Loudpaw existing. I lost it for a moment. Uh, Featherstar talking to themselves, Rushclaw. Someone caught a bird that they wanted. Weed Dawn is grateful they've lived so long. Bouncewing Grooming. Oh, I've already done all this. I'm sorry. I, I got so caught up by Loudpaw existing that I just completely forgot. They can't go out with their mentor right away because Crow Eyes already went out. Uh, so let's send you out with Feather Star. And somebody else to keep you safe. Uh, we'll send Violet Mask out, and then Green Fur and Ember Heart will guard the camp. And they see a fox, and they drive it away. Excellent, excellent. Oh, Loudpaw, you're great. Uh, did I check in with Star Clan? No. Okay, so Lightning Whisker is watching over Loudpaw's ceremony. I wonder if they'll get to keep the collar when they become an adult. Oh, I'm just so curious. That's so cool. Uh, Sparrowthroat doesn't want to talk to Shortpaw. That's rude, Sparrowthroat. 
Ivy Talon watching over the clan. Honey Star is admiring the stars in their fur. Ragged Talon relaxing in the sun. Frecklestone having a serious fight with Doe Poppy. You're having a serious fight with your daughter? I had to double check. I, I thought that was the case. Huh. Silver Sight missing a loved one. Small Cloud is admiring Star Clan territory. Doe Poppy is hoping to give a life to a new leader. I mean, you already did that, and I don't know what the rules are on duplicate lives. I've always assumed that you could only do it once, but, like, I don't know what's considered canon on that. Uh, Spark Swipe not actually dead, although they want to visit a medicine cat, which makes me suspicious. Uh, Ice hopes to meet with a medicine cat as well. One Haze missing a loved one. Nagi Paws learning about the other cats in Star Clan. Okay. How old is Loud Paw? They are seven moons old, so they're still pretty young. Nothing significant happened, but it is now Leaf Fall. Uh, so we'll send Loud Paw out with Crow Eyes. And let's send them with, uh, wait, hang on, let me, let me, crow eyes, loud paw. Do we have any good teachers? I mean, most everyone used to be a loner, so no one has any special skills. So I guess we'll just send Featherstar out with them. Featherstar suggests this patrol might be a good chance for the apprentice to practice. And they have a good practice session. Good. Good, Loud Paw. I want you to be an excellent warrior, okay? Uh, and then we will send Violet Mask out with Jump, as well as uh, Stork Storm. They come across a strange object, and Jump is nauseous for a few days. No, I really like... Oh gosh, who is it that says that uh, it's a just a consistent trail marker they come across? I, I really like that, that they, it's just the same object over and over. I wish I had some lore for what it is they're interacting with here. As far as I'm concerned, they live in like a state park. So, I mean, it could be a trail marker, but I don't want to steal that. I just thought it was really clever and I wanted to bring it up. I thought it was really clever and I thought I should bring it up. Alright, still leaf fall. Let's send crow eyes out with their apprentice, Loud Paw, who I love so much. Imagine if they had little waves in their fur too. <gasps> They're... Guys, I love Loud Paw so much. Like, it is so ridiculous. What if their name tag is a little surfboard? I, I'm serious, I cannot get over Loud Paw. They are too adorable. I am so happy. Uh, and we'll send Jump out with them this time. So Crow Eyes thinks this might be a good chance for the cats to practice teamwork. And they have a good practice session. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so the clans getting back on their feet at this point. They're getting back on their feet. Uh, so the we'll send Ember Heart with Stork Storm and green fur. They see a rat and they catch it. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Then any word from Star Clan? Not really. Ivy Talon is thinking about future prophecies with Lightning Whisker. And Honey Star is also involved in that conversation because Star Spark Swipe is not dead, so I'm just gonna say that's part of that conversation. Um Doe Poppy is disappointed in Weasel Beam. I think Doe Poppy became a little bit edgy after they died. Like, to be fair, they died tragically young. It's like, uh, I don't know, waking up on your 18th birthday, you're about to start college or something, and then you just get murdered. Or you get involved in some turf war that you refuse to take a side on, and then you get murdered that way. I don't know, Doe Poppy had 
really unfortunate luck, and I miss her every day. Spark Swipe is not dead. Ice. Sharing fresh kill with Silver Sight. One Hayes worried about the Dark Forest. And Nagipa is wor curious. Sorry. Nagipa is curious about what Rushclaw is doing. Okay, well, what is Rushclaw doing? They're having a hard day. Okay. And again, I'm just gonna flick through. We done said they couldn't spend more time with Doe Poppy. I, I don't know what to tell you, We done. Violet Mask rethinking their life choices. Maybe everyone's thinking about Doe Poppy. Grow Eyes wants to be deputy. Good luck. Jump also rethinking their life choices, and Loud Paw is becoming interested in herbs. Listen, you stay. You 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 stay a warrior apprentice. You. I just want my righteous little dude to be happy. Okay, nothing really happening. Checking in with Star Clan. Nope. 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 Nothing going on with Star Clan. What about in the clan? Uh Feather Star still thinking they're going crazy. Nope. 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 Honey Air, proud of their ability to care for their clan mates. Ah, I've been forgetting my generator. I am so sorry. Uh, nope. Nope. Crow Eyes still wants to be deputy. Back off, dude. Ant Call content. Nope. 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 Lod Paws relaxing in camp. Rock on, little dude. You're so cool. You're so cool. Oh, guys, I'm in love. <laughs> Loud Paw is the coolest thing that has happened to this clan, and you cannot convince me otherwise. Uh, so let's see. It is currently Leaf Fall, and I haven't skipped any event yet. So Loud Paw with Crow Eyes. And we'll send Feather. This is my own bias. I keep sending the leader with them. Let's send Jump out with them. Loud Paw claims to have a vision from Star Clan. Okay. I talk them through the vision. See, even Star Clan approves of my super cool little dude. Oh, my bias is showing hard, and if it, this is going to be anything like Doe Poppy, he's going to die a tragically young death, and I am going to be so sad about it. Uh, then let's send out Stork Storm, Amber Heart, and Green Fur again. I think I did last time. Ha ha ha, nope. That was my one skip, though. So, uh... Well, it's Leaf Bear now. Which doesn't really matter, because I can't skip anything in Leaf Bear, so... We're gonna send them out on big patrols, okay? So we're talking Loud Paw, Crow Eyes... Fit... no... Jump... Stork Storm, and Ember Heart. And, and green fur too. <laughs> I can't skip anything. I would skip it if I could. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Everything's okay. That's okay. And feather star, daydreaming, poppy seeds, complaining, feeling down, remem honey ears, remembering honey star, violet mask, watching over non existent kits, relaxing in camp talking to themselves, having a hard day, feeling lazy, feeling happy, wants to go on patrol. You just went on patrol, so you should be happy now. Uh, going to poop. Wants to spend time alone. Jump is wondering what it would be like to be leader. Mm -hmm. And Loud Paw is irritating crow eyes. Uh, you're too cool. Uh, and we'll have to leave Loud Paw's warrior name till next time. 
But let's quick check in with Star Clan. Lightning Whisker, watching over a clan ceremony, or maybe preparing to approve of Loudpaw as being the coolest warrior to ever have warriored. Sparrow Throw, feeling sassy, admiring stars. Honey Star, hope that they were a good leader. Ragged Talon, watching over the clan with Sparrow Throat. Uh, thinking about their life, feeling lazy. Small Cloud wants to send a message to Ember Heart. You, and Small Cloud used to be a medicine cat themselves. Man, we are just getting flooded with prophecies. I'm gonna have to work some of these prophecies out. I, and I'll probably think more of it in post. Honestly, I get so frazzled while I'm recording these that I can hardly remember what happened like a second ago, let alone an episode or two ago. So I'll, I'll have to make some, some sense of all these messages. Although they haven't sent one yet, they're just thinking about it. Uh, Doe Poppy, disappointed in Weed Dawn. I think everyone's at least a little disappointed in Weed Dawn. Uh, Spark Swipe, not actually dead. Ice. Also thinking about a message to send, thinking about their life, and Nagipa wants to spend time with a cat who's not dead and is evil. That's fine. That's fine. So, next time we find out what our righteous little dude gets as a warrior name, uh, and the next time you see an episode, it will be not have been recorded on Sunday. <laughs> My gosh. But, uh... You know, leave, leave, do the do the thing, leave a like for Righteous Little Dude. And s someone tell me what you think their, their warrior name should be as well. Because if I don't like our Righteous Little Dude's name, I might just change it, to be honest. But, uh, you know, do all, do all that good stuff. If you're still here, uh, I am amazed. Uh, especially since, as of Sunday, uh, Sari Pixel Biologist put, just put out her first episode on this game. So a lot of the smaller creators are probably not going to get their time to shine anymore. So if you're still here, thank you. And, I don't know, just continue being cool. I... Just continue being cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go with that.